It's a big good morning, uh, Easter Sunday morning, and welcome to the 60th Adelaide Masters, uh, a live stream. Day four of the Adelaide Masters. Uh, we start this morning with the top 32. Uh, my name is Reese Taylor. It's great to be with you. And uh, joining me this morning in commentary, um, her CV is getting bigger and bigger as we as we go along. Uh, Australian Jackaroo, uh, current New South Wales Women's Triples uh, champion as of last week, 2022 under 25 singles champion. Brianna Smith, good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me. It's a lovely day here at Adelaide Bowling Club and should be a cracker of a game here against Corey and Caitlin. Caitlin Inch and Corey Wedlock is our live stream this morning. Uh, they are one of our 16 games we've got going this morning. We will try and go through a few of those matches as we go along, but I think most importantly this morning, the weather has turned it on. Um, there's their games on our screen now, Brianna. Um, we're just talking about a few key matchups this morning. What can you see there? We've got my beloved Ben Twist versus Wayne Rudiger. That should be a cracker game. Right behind us, yep. keep an eye on that score. Yep. And I think uh, the for the local crowd, the game between Nathan Pedersen and Scott Tholborn should be an absolute cracker as well. So um, sit uh, sit tight if you're watching from your screens. Um, stay tuned if you're planning on coming down to the club. Um, 
please, please do. The, there's plenty of seating available. The weather, as I said before, is absolutely fantastic. Um, barbecue's going. Fridges are stocked full of some nice um, Cooper's refreshments, one of our great all sponsors. All the important stuff. The all very the important <laughs> stuff, Brianna. Um, but we're going to be here all day, so um, stay tuned. This, this game, Brianna, what are your thoughts on um, Corey and, and Caitlin? Well, Corey and Caitlin are both in form at the moment. Obviously, Caitlin playing in the BPL recently, both Corey as well. Um, Corey's a great singles player, so this could really go either way. Um, Corey's conversion shots are on point, so it's just a matter of whether Caitlin can stay in, stay in um, her tread and see what she can do. Three-time Adelaide Masters singles champion Corey already through yep. the last four years. One last year being Nathan Pedersen in a great final. Um, dual World Bowls gold medalist just recently. His resume says it all, doesn't it? Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty good. And, um, and Caitlin's just, you know, we'll, we'll claim her as our own. Um, she's an Adelaide pioneer, yep. um, so she's an Adelaide girl for, for the next two days. Um, and and all, we, all we hope for is an absolute belt of a game. And do you know what? We're away. And we're off, yeah. You played on this rink pretty close yesterday, Brianna. Thoughts I on, did. The, on, the, on the speed and um, what, what's going to happen this morning? I played on it second game yesterday. Um, it was quite quick compared to the first screen that I played on. So in the morning, it should be probably quite similar to how when I played on it. So nice drawing pace, I would say. Nice drawing pace. So Caitlin choosing the forehand, um, usually a bit tighter on this side as well, uh, early on particularly. Just falling short there, about a, maybe a foot or so. Probably the best weight control in the game, Corey Whitlock. Yeah. Unbelievable weight. Not a bad start from the two. Of course, our marker this morning is Rachel Krebix. We want to thank all our volunteers for what they've done the last three days so far and the two days to come. They have done an absolutely unbelievable job. In the heat as well. In the heat, yeah. yep. <laughs> couldn't do it without them. Okay, I'm just losing a bit of that weight there. Line's pretty good. Yeah, she's got her line perfectly. Close here from Corey. Perfectly finishing just on the line. Kind of changing hands, just getting away from those two short ones of hers. Hopefully, just trying to arrive to Corey's last bowl. Trying hard to get down. Yeah. Second, second, second wood? shot, yeah. yeah. Yep. Corey's trying to beat that last ball of Caitlin's now. Looks like he's just going to sit nicely in there, flopping in just behind, which is good. It's perfect. Shot. Great shot. back nicely from there with her third one Did. so let's see what she's got and if she turns her own potentially if drops oh. in for second close no, close to second i think stuggage cory the same shot there doesn't he? he's yeah. just got to you know turns caitlin ball once makes, yeah. makes three he can even get onto his own ball and get the jack get a bit of, a bit of movement yeah helps that caitlin's is behind the jack so there's no danger in trying to get hers in for shot no you can play it with confidence just a lazy arrive A bit tight, can get on the ball, one of the jack if he does. A bit of movement there, there we yeah. go. I think that's three, two. Two, there we go. Two what shots to get us started, <laughs> there we go. The angles are tricky. Yes. <laughs> so what have we got on this screen in front of us? We've also got Ben Winther playing Kobe Jarman, so the young Adelaide superstar versus Ben Winther, uh, New South Wales State Pairs champion. Uh, Gary Ball from uh, Footscray, Yarrabil versus Teasy, Aaron Tees. And uh, Harley McDonald from Tarrant Point versus Gav Pfeiffer from Manham. Another great game there. And 
So rank one, Anthony Moffat and uh, Ray Donnell on rank one. So some really good games in rank one. Ray Donnell, I think, uh, was that one of our top two qualifiers, along with Harley from, from Tarrant Point. Had a good day yesterday, nice. Harley and, and Teasy. Corey's gone a bit longer. Yes. Brianna, he's gone. Yep, so no more okay. short ends for me. Thank Caitlin, you. <laughs> thank you very much. Just it's a jack eye. Caitlin here now sticking with Corey on that on that side of the green. She played a couple of good shots of those last two bowls, the last end, so see if she can find the line again. What's your singles theory, Brianna? Are you a, uh, you a stick to the hand sort of uh, player or are you a bit of a chop and change in singles? I like to stick to the, the same hand. Um, usually follow down the, the player I am playing, but obviously if the bowl's in the way, you're going to have to swap hands. Yep. But I usually like to stick to the same side of the green and try and work my way through it. Was that a great segue just then with Corey changing hands? Yeah, that <laughs> worked out well, didn't it? Well, Caitlin's is in his line, so we'll let him, we'll let him off. Back end yeah. was the club does turn a little bit late as well, and it will later on today. Once that um, a bit of dew on the greens this morning, but not too much. The greenkeepers did a fantastic job yeah. this morning. Greens here are superb, all running beautifully. Caitlin again on a good line. Jeez. She's a bit high. Just a yeah, a little bit quick too, but enough pace to get up through hers. Yeah. I think that was her shot to try and sort of get up through her yeah, ball. Yeah, give it a chance. Yep. Get back to the jack two. Corey now looking just to shut the door, I think, looking to change that a little bit. It's a good shot there. Does she attack? Is she an attacking sort of player? I think so, but at this stage with the, all those gaps that are at the head there, I think she's just going to have to play through hers. Yep. Even if she is tighter, she can get to Corey's jack high ball on the other hand. There's options. Lots for her to sit on there. Yeah, mine it down. looks better, but she's just going to find that hole, is she? Yeah, I think she is. Good weight. It's in a pretty good spot, though. She can afford a little bit more now. Get to the jack. She's got the best two behind, so... Corey just hanging out wide again. It's definitely two. It is close for the other. Does she keep her same weight and just look for a bit of jack now? Yeah, I think so. She's sticking on that same hand. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, she's a little bit tighter. Gonna fall away. Yeah, it's just not enough. Trying to be too perfect with the draw there. You're right, it's definitely two. Definitely two, yeah. Corey's having a look. A bit of tape. So 32 left. We get down to four tonight, and then the semi finals and finals tomorrow. So um, all games today, as it has been all event, first to 25. Could be 10 ends, could be 30. <laughs> we've seen some yeah. quick ones, we've seen some <laughs> marathons. <laughs> I had a marathon yesterday morning against um, Brett Baldy. We were out there. We were the last game out there. We were it was neck and neck the whole time. I only went. I went down by three in the end, but yeah, it was a close game the whole way. Could have gone either way. <laughs> Twenty-five. Anything with uh, two lots of twenties usually yeah. is going to go to two and a half or three hours, isn't yeah. it? It's a long time. Then a short break and straight back into long, it again. Long time <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> and you get no rest. Oh, there's no respite. There's no sit. It's. Um, yep. While we're all athletes, Brianna. Oh, of yeah, course we exactly. are, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're finely tuned athletes. <laughs> it's a pretty tight little measure here, isn't it? Couldn't get our first umpire in the second inning, could we? Nope. Let's see what it was there. It was a three. It was three. Yep. Three to Corey Wedlock, 5 0 start. Sticking to that T, ditch to ditch straight away. Oh, 
try to keep up, up in some Facebook comments as well. So, um, uh, Ross, there is two more streamed games today. Um, there'll be the final 16 and then the quarter final this afternoon. So three games today, two games tomorrow. All thanks to um, Spacequake, a great partner of Spacequake. We can um, jump onto their uh, YouTube channel um, or, of course, jump on their Low Bowling Club Facebook page and um, enjoy the viewing. Caitlin here, not on a bad line. Just needs to finish. Looks like it's going to get back quite nicely. Good shot. Pretty peaceful, and the birds chirping in the background. It's beautiful. Today. Where else would you rather be? Where else would you rather be? Oh. The weather here is so nice. It's so quiet. So <laughs> in Sydney, it's so busy everywhere. Yeah. I just can't believe it. It's beautiful. And the club's in a great spot around all the parklands here. It's perfect, so, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. We like it. <laughs> you can see why. <laughs> uh, Caitlin's sticking to the back end now. Liz looking just to probably arrive through her last bowl. Uh, just a good positive draw. Just didn't get down in time, but in a good home there. Gonna get it full, that's perfect. What a great shot. What does Caitlin do here? She stick for that back end still and just sort of play a bit tighter through Corey's I balls? I think so, yeah, give it a chance. It's good that she had her last ball finished um, just past two, so it gives her options. The Jack was to go that direction. If she is tight through Corey's, yeah. yeah. She's definitely arriving. Solid yeah. weight. She might get down to at least one of them. Okay. Geez, that's stiff. Yeah, not a little to, bit stiff, not yeah. Not to sit solid and get second wood. Yeah. Definitely one. Rachel's giving a signal for two shots. Yeah, she got a little bit unlucky then. Just falling away just at the last minute there to flop out. Corey's just having a look around, just seeing who else is playing other ranks. Yep. Doesn't seem too phased about <laughs> things this morning. I think a forehand draw here. Yep. Beat Caitlin's last bowl. Yeah, it's a good guide that it's sitting roughly jack high. So. Yep, agreed. Turning hard now. Here it comes. Great shot. Well played. Still leaves a little ledge there for Caitlin, though. Are you thinking a similar shot? Yeah. She can play a similar shot, or she just gets back to the draw on the forehand. Yep. Get second wood. Yeah. Or even fall off that outside one of Corey's but, and try and get shot. Yeah, but being 5 0 down, she is looking for a shot. So whether she gives it another positive chance. Yep. Looks like she's going to be playing the back end again. Yep. So same shot as her last one, giving it a good chance. Bigger weight. I think she liked to turn that back pretty quick. Yeah, it's just a little bit tight. Another three, it looks like, to Corey. Caitlin's giving the all clear for three. It's a big start. It is. But, you know, first 25, it is a long, long yeah, game, exactly. so yep. Caitlin has the chance to claw back here. The tactics are pretty clear already with Corey playing, yep. you know, full length, so I imagine that that Caitlin will be looking to get get the map back get pretty quick and just yeah. change something a little bit because just you know, to get her line and weight back as well. Yeah, you don't want Corey getting too comfortable. So we will try and give some scores the other games throughout the stream, but obviously it's early days just yet, so nothing uh, too exciting is happening. Just trying to keep Brianna from focusing on this rank rather than Ben's rank behind us. <laughs> uh, I'm only turned around yeah. once. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ben's 3-2 against, uh, against Wayne Rudiger. Yeah, that's the only score I can see at the moment of any significance. 
Don't ask me to see sea green too well. No. Test your eyes out. So Corey's left a bit of room for Caitlin. And her response is pretty handy. Good shot there. Great well shot. played. That'll get her confidence back. Absolutely. All it takes. What's next for you, Brianna? What's on the cards? Um, we've got our first round of Platinum Pennant next week, which is a new yes. a new format. How exciting um, is that going to be? Yes, super exciting. So I think it's 12, 12 teams. Don't quote me on it. Um, from all of New South Wales, all top grade sides playing against each other. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's great to be a part of the inaugural Platinum Pennant in New South Wales. Did I see 11 games in five weeks? Yep, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's correct, so it's pretty full on. Jeez, that's uh, playing with my heartstrings. Yes. A quick, so pen a quick pennant season. A couple of double headers in there. so. A triple header? I think there yeah, is. Yeah, yep. <laughs> so very busy for the next six <laughs> weeks, five weeks, yep. Dave Stockham's just asked uh, Brianna whether Beth led you astray last night. No, she didn't. <laughs> we're just Stop talking you. about where you were last <laughs> night and, and yes. where, where Ben was. So. Ben and Joseph, who are my Saints mates here with me, um, they went to the AFL last night. I was invited, but being in New South Wales uh, person, I've never watched a game, yeah, what's, what's game of AFL. AFL? She says, yeah. Yeah. Yep. NRL all the way. We're not, um, we're not talking footy this morning because Port lost. So oh, okay. okay. So let's talk about you and Beth. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I went to dinner with my, my lovely mate Beth, who used to be a club mate of ours at St John's Park. Yep. So it was nice to catch up with her. I haven't Wonderful. seen her for a few years. Wonderful lady. She is beautiful. Caitlin's holding two now. Now she must sit her own bowl. It's Ooh, still a good two, maybe three. Maybe three, yeah. Hard to tell with the shadows. It's a big end for Caitlin because she's just, you know, eight, eight nil. Uh, you said wanted some confidence back, and yeah. all of a sudden, uh, she's got three within a foot. Yep. So. And Corey's just being tested for the first time in this game. Corey arriving on his forehand. He's interested. Watching it intently, asking it to get down a little bit. Oh, he's got two outs so. though. Now just looking to draw another one in there. Add that bonus one and, and get that map back and then work out what she's going to do. So we saw her intentions with the first end where it was sort of mat back and then a short jack. So she'd be thinking already now about what her plan of attack is, but probably also thinking about drawing second woody. Wider line. So we'll take one and one run. it is, yep. Now she can get back in her groove of those shorter yep, ends. Yep. Let's breathe a sigh of relief. Just get that one and just go right up. Let's reassess some plans now. What's what's what are we doing? So if she's mad up. Probably twelve foot from the T and to the T she goes. So yeah. you change the length just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Back to a medium length. Critical part now is nailing that first nice one. Nice little quick one. Front touch would be handy, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Back touch will be okay too. Yep. <laughs> so Caitlin's rocking the uh, Taylor Redline SRs. Corey's got the uh, he got Aerodynamics. Sure bowler choice. Same as Caitlin. Taylor's, yep. 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 Taylor Redline SRs, so. I should know what her bowl's doing when it's coming <laughs> down. <laughs> Bit of over and unders for both of them. Caitlin just full going a metre through and yeah, Corey about a metre short. Subtle change, yeah, yeah. yeah. yep. there from Caitlin. Angle's hard to see for me. What's Corey yeah. got? 
Get that last bowl of Caitlin's. Oh, he has, maybe. Maybe it's just. Close. Maybe <laughs> just. That'll do it. That'll give it a shot. Small change needed for Corey. Yeah. Nothing too much. Oh, he's a little bit tighter. His weight was spot on then. Hard to tell with that angle, wouldn't it? Not the jack Very hard the to jack tell. The jack-eye shot, I can't <laughs> tell. Rachel's giving us no indication yeah. at all. We can't can't <laughs> see the head much from here. I'll have to have a chat with Caitlin about yeah. rolling the jack that far back. <laughs> Bring it closer, Caitlin. Pretty easy shot. Well, no, it's, it's a poor hit. No, there's no easy shot, but <laughs> the, the the plan is to to beat those two bowls outside. Probably got a foot. Say it's on a pretty good line. Looks okay but from here. <laughs> Get down to our own bolt. Yeah, that is the shot. Has. That's got to be shot. That has to be. Well <laughs> no blood. Gives Corey two options though on that backhand. I think he, does, yeah. he he can get the jack um, on the move. Yeah, half it out to that last bowl of his. Yeah. And if he sits those bowls, so he's got probably two or three options. Yeah. Just with good weight on the backhand. Just a confident draw right up. Not right up to it. Yep. Oh, oh, he's, there, he's, there we go. We, <laughs> we know nothing. No. And that's why we're sitting here. Jack. Uh, oh, it's gone what now. What we got there? Yes, it's, it's dead. It's gone dead. It's yep. Dead. So it is replays. Uh, no respot. And load masters. Caitlin, having to think about the length. What's next? Yeah. Like she's going to go quite similar. She's put the mat in a similar, similar spot. Thought she might take on Corridi's own game. Yeah. Like after, after the three last thing going this way, yeah. or the three she held, maybe go. Oh, I'll play long too, and let's see who can, who can hold it the longest. A few scores from around the rinks that I can see. Wayne Rudiger, five, Ben Twist, three. Brett Spur over Mike Hocking, six, zero. Um, Nathan Pedersen, three, one over Scotty Tholborn. Tyson Wilson, eight, one over Phil Sanders. Um, they're the ones I can see on this one. one down. A couple of close games on A green. Ray Denelt, five, one over Anthony Moffat. We'll keep you updated as we go along. Corey Wedlock. Good shot. One foot, if that. Okay, I'm just staying on the forehand. Knows that Corey's already got shot anyway, yeah. so. No danger. Use that bowl. Close, isn't this she? This looks like she's gonna be spot on. He's got the weight, he's on a pretty good line here. Nice reply from Corey. It does give Caitlin the option though, switch hands, trail that jack back to her too. Nice little ledge for her to sit on there with Corey's last bowl too. Three or four options, didn't she really? Yeah. Yep. How's she looking? Weight's good. A little bit wide, I think. I think she just needed a touch more. Yeah, I think so. Corey looking to 
change things a little bit, do you think? Change that, get a bit of a jack. He's just going to get off his, yeah. Okay. Well, that's changed things a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Caitlin can play onto that bowl with, I mean, whatever weight she likes, get the jack right back. That ledge is there too, as you said before. Yeah. She can use that outside one of Corey's. And yeah. the problem is she may get the jack, which is going to bring Corey's wide bowl into play, but she's got to play it. Yeah. Weight just arriving, do you think? I think, yeah, just over the draw. A bit crazy. Just to tap onto Corey, she's got the two back bowls there, so. Yep. Nice little catching area. Is she liking it? I'm trying to read her yeah. body language off that ledge. Ooh. Well, at least got the second shot out yep. of there, so. Just needed it to get down a little bit more. Just dropping short there to not only just to get the one, but he's got his map back on the back of the tee there, back to his long hanging. We'll go ditch, ditch, thank yeah. you. Nine one to, to Corey Wedlock. Trying to get a bit of a uh, sponsor promotion happening, yeah. we'll get them done soon. We do have some fantastic sponsors of the event. And uh, Cooper's being being one, so we'll get to them soon. But without the volunteers, we couldn't run an event. But without sponsors, we can't run events either. So big thanks to Cooper's and um, uh, CFS, uh, Gomisal Wines and Chain of Ponds Wines as well. Uh, we thank them very much for their support of the event. Great start there from Corey. Little toucher. Back to his length. He just seems so unflappable. <laughs> you ever see him get stressed, Corey? No. I've never seen him get stressed. Yeah. His face never changes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Last one to arrive today as well. Yep. Him, him and Gary just yeah, gone Gary. through the gate yeah. at 25, to 25 past What nine. are you worried about? We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a warm up? Corey, on a good line again. Yep. Weight's impeccable. And he's just going to drop in behind. Yep. Perfect. It's really dominating this length. Hetland's close here. She's just going to get down. Yeah, that's a great shot. That was a Could great be the shot. shot. Yep. Yeah. Great. Rachel's having a little look. One to Caitlin Inch. Yeah. Great shot. Corey looking for the jack movement. Didn't like that. No, it looked like he might have slipped a little bit. He looked back at the map like there was an issue with it. Yep. So. Caitlin changing out of the forehand, or is she sticking to that backhand? Sticking to the backhand. Okay. Already played a good one there. Play another one. Yep. Close again. Just the weight, it I looks think. Looks like she's just going to be slipping past. Mm. Yeah. What's Corey got here? Played played weight last time with six feet. What's he going to do here? Did we, was he quick like? I don't know. He's, he's, he's going again. He's going. Yeah. He is tighter and he's looking at it, so he must be, he might be just slipping away. So Still one to Caitlin Inch, I'd suggest from yeah. this angle, yep. Yep. Rachel confirms. And she's still sticking with that back end. Just looking to draw another one in there, add to the count. It's probably a yard away from the last dead draw. 
not happy with it, I don't think. One to Caitlin Inch. Yeah. So nine two early days. Just trying to breach that um, breach that gap now. And we do thank our sponsors, Coopers. Uh, for uh, being a major player in this uh, this event, the Adelaide Masters, um, plenty on tap, Brianna. Plenty consumed throughout the uh, <laughs> throughout the day. And Popular days. drink of choice. Very much so. <laughs> very much so. I'm going to put it on you. I need you to find me a, a Cooper's Cooper's Lager um, shot of the day from this game. So okay. um, I'll come back to you at some stage with a shot of the day. Give me the give me the thirty second debrief on the New South Wales State Triples, Brianna. Thirty second debrief. Yep. Well, we went undefeated. I'm going to actually give a wrap of Dawn first. Dawn Heyman was outstanding. She won four out of four titles. So good. Um, yep. Yeah, she was outstanding. But yeah, in our triples, we went through undefeated. Um, had a couple of close games in the in the sectional, um, and then went through and had a ripper of a final. There and you go. yeah, so Yourself, good. Self, do. Dawn, and Sam. And Sam Ferguson. Ferguson. Yep. 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 Excellent. It was, um, I'm just happy to be along for the ride with Dawn, to be honest. Her form was outstanding, yeah. so. Four from four. Yeah. Can't get much better than that. She didn't make the fours, is that right? Correct, yeah, yeah no. Okay. Yeah. We let her down in the final. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cabramatta got through with that one and they, they won the title, so well done to them. Jeez, they were unbelievable. They were. <laughs> That's an Australian team. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin Inch, great, great shot, shot there. Great correction. One down. That was my first state title as well, so. First of many. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Last bowl, yeah. Last shot, yeah. Corey asking it just to hold a bit longer. And it looks like it's going to. Great That's shot. shot. Weight was great. Perfect for it. Set up pretty handy too with that first one of his just behind. Yep. Can afford to be confident again to yeah, it. Exactly. Get to Caitlin's bowl. Caitlin's close, oh. but in a great spot. Gives her an option out, on not it? Yeah. Yep. So Corey, what will he be looking to do? Will he look just to get a second one around it, or will he look to try and get around to Caitlin's bowl? I think bowl? he's going to try and get around to Caitlin's bowl here. Happy with the one the way it is. Or he goes further back and gives him more options in a minute. Yeah. I think he's thinking ahead there. <laughs> Sort of means Caitlin can't play too much weight. She's got to play the perfect shot. She's got to play to, up and over on her. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All the live streamers saying Brianna is great weather and great greens. I think we can agree with that, can't we? Oh, that's lovely. Where's <laughs> where's that cool breeze though? That'd be nice right <laughs> now. <laughs> the sun's right on our backs <laughs> here and it's quite warm. <laughs> it's too early for a Cooper's mold ale. Never too early, isn't it? It's five o'clock somewhere, I right? I agree. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Probably in New Zealand where this young lady's from right now. Yes. If she's on a smaller line, she does have less weight, so is she going to... Get up a bit more, up more. Oh, jeez, that's a good shot. She played enough. <laughs> Great shot by Caitlin. But has she done enough? As we said, Corey did the odd setup, sucker punch one two. He's got the two bowls behind. Yeah. Uh, Rachel's giving the two paddles to Caitlin for two shots. Yeah. So I think um, Corey's not going to be short with this. I wouldn't one. think so. <laughs> Jack. Yeah. Can he get both bowls clean? I think he can. Yep. Uh, and here it comes. Oh, doesn't doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Okay. Two to Caitlin Inch. Caitlin doubling her score yep. on Nine the comeback. Four, I like it. Yep. She comes across to me as mentally pretty tough. She does. I don't think yeah. she's the sort of lady that would uh, just 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 let this game get away. You know, you can be forgiven 
eight, eight shots down early to go. Yeah. This is going to be tough, but she will stick in there. She will fight and fight and fight. She's very similar to Corey in a way. Doesn't show much emotion. No. Just hangs tough. Yep. Stick in that length again. Yeah, Matt up to about two metres off the tee and Jack to the tee. Scotty loves playing with her in the BPO. He just said she's just fantastic to yeah. play with and just an absolute ripping human to be around and tough, hard competitor. Very Great start. start. Love that. Rudy, nine. Benny, twist, three. Gary Kelly up, seven, three. Seven all. Harley McDonald and uh, Gavin Pfeiffer, seven all with Teasy. Gary Ball. Wouldn't some... Is that Joe Clark up 8-2, I reckon, Brianna? Can you see that? I think that's right, yep, yes. Yep. What's in this first ring? Craig Mills is here somewhere too, I think. Ashley Halls and Brad Jensen. I can't see that. Oh, Ash Halls, 7, Brad Jensen, 6. I think Joseph Clark's playing Craig Mills. Oh, he is too. Yep. He is too. There we go. So Joe's 8-2 against Craig Mills. Craig's a two-time winner. He's Joe's a good player. He is, yeah. Lovely guy too. So two bowls down each now. Corey's going to get a bit of the jack. No. Ooh, just slipping past. They played Joe, Dawn and Ben in the triples at Broad Beach this yes. year. And uh, yeah, Joe, good, good player. Yep, Ben's teaching him all he knows. At least he'd like to see. <laughs> yep. Great start by Caitlin, falling just in front of the jack. I think the Adelaide Bowling Club's just lost internet, so we're not too sure if we've still got the YouTube channel going or not, but um, we're just working on the fix at the moment. We'll, we'll keep persisting as we go along. Caitlin Inch has just drawn an absolute belter. Two absolute Look rivers. at that. She's, and she's flopping onto the jack. She's flopped. I mean, you can see the jack now, so that'll help Corey. <laughs> Waiting for a Cooper's mild uh, shot of the day there. It was, it was close. <laughs> it was close. Still a long way to go. Oh, I don't wow. want to call it too early. <laughs> so so now it's interesting because Corey's two down. The, the head is perfectly set up for him to just clean everything just. out. <laughs> what's what's Caitlin doing? Is she is she running for cover? Or is she another one around it somewhere? I think anything wide of the line on the forehand would be pretty good for her. The jack's going to be spurting out that direction. So. Yep. Well, she's going to... Oh, I thought she was going to go against what I said then, but no. She's on <laughs> so the what, forehand. So what's so. the plan? She's going to go sort of... Yeah, wide, know, wide of the centre line. Yep. Slipping just past would be perfect. Yep. Yeah, I think... Well... It's it's past, yeah. so it's, it's going to be handy. Corey, big weight. Solid. He's missed, which is very unusual for him with a target that big. But he still has one more, so... Insider. Is there a chance that those bowls of Caitlin's go and Corey's hang around? Can, can they go both out without any jack? Oh, it's hard to tell whether that whether the front one of Caitlin's is locked in by Corey's. Yep. I just wonder he if might he just gets... clip the edge of it. Yeah. 
It's his front ball right on the nose. Potentially he could shoot that, yeah. that one of Caitlin's Just whether, whether that middle one gets caught on that one. Yep, exactly, exactly. I'm just going to give him some grief. Change some angles a little bit. Oh, oh. he's... She's just given, just given Corey Wedlock a four-ball target. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's going to miss a second time. Big weight. Close. Oh. Yep. Thought it, jam. I, see, I thought, it, it. thought it would lock well in. Played. I like that. <laughs> Great shot by Corey. Great shot, yeah. Um, one to Kaylin in this game. Just gets yeah. tighter and tighter. 10 9 it is. Looks like we've got a new stream going now, so we're back up and running again. Keeping to this shorter length, Caitlin seems to be really nailing it with her first bowl, which is really putting Corey under the under pressure. Yeah, I think her first, if you look at the first two bowls of each end, it's probably probably since that, that long end where she held that three. She's really owned those first two she bowls, has. so she's really put Corey under the pump. He's played a few weighted shots and just a bit Ooh. lazy. Yeah, very unlike her. Good news, we are back. Live stream's back. Thanks to the Spacequake team, we're here and hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Good start there from Corey. The heat's overheating everything. Yes. <laughs> like the players yesterday. <laughs> Thought my head was going to explode. <laughs> Beth goes, oh, sit down, have a drink. I said, all right then. Just yes. twisted the arm to have a drink? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Caitlin inched a little bit more weight, but trying to creep yeah, up slowly. He's trying. Corey's still hanging on there. This time last year on the Friday morning, we were mopping 20 mils of rain off oh, the off the green. I heard, yeah. Scratching our heads, but. Um, this week, 31 degrees today, 32 yesterday. And I think tomorrow is 24 or 25 Beautiful. with a bit of breeze, so that's pretty bearable. Not a breath of wind, it's perfect conditions, really. Yep. Caitlin's weight looks to be better, sticking on that back end. She can take it down. From here, it looks second shot, but on the screen. It's a little bit different, so. Corey Wedlock will try to get your Mitch Percy score at some stage. I can't see the little fella. He must be out on, on the sea green somewhere. Stand by, Corey. I'll find something for you. shot here. Be hard to see much from the mat. Everything seems to be finishing on the line, so I think she can just sneak past her own front ones, getting back to the jack. She's going to get down. She's close. Oh Very close. Yeah, good. Is this for a shot? What a shot. It isn't the shot, I don't think, but oh, tremendous great shot, second as shot. You, as you yeah. said, that, that, that bowl of hers at, uh, what's that, one o'clock on the screen now, put him right in her eye. Right in her eye, you know, yeah. Played the perfect weight. The first one she played just hung out on her. You know, forgiven for sort of giving it too much air as you're trying to get around the bowl. But, um, she said to trust her shot. line, yep. and, and that she did. Now Corey goes, well, can I get to that bowl? He's 
close. Whoa, you just fluff, fallen out. He'll take one. I don't think he's going to go short again. I think he's going to go no, back I to his... I think that plan <laughs> was um, taken out of the playbook. Yeah. He will go Matt on T, Jack on T. Making a comeback behind us, Brown. 12 11 now. Rudy's way over Ben Twist. See, I haven't looked for the last few ends. Maybe go. it was me looking that's I'll, put him. I'll, I'll look for you. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Niblett. I think that's Mark Armstrong. So Darren Niblett from Hawthorne, 8 6 over Mark Armstrong. Nathan Pedersen, 12 6 over Scotty Tholborn. Gary Kelly, 14 6 over Andrew Peters. Down over Gary Ball. Yeah. Uh, Joe Clark, Craig Mills, 8 7 Joe Clark's way. As I'm doing that, we'll just miss Corey sit beyond the yeah. jack. <laughs> Ash Hall's 10 8 over Brad Jansen. Yeah, Sol Tyson Wilson's up 19 2. Two goodies. There we go. Back to his length. What was he thinking earlier? <laughs> He's too smart for his own good. I think so, <laughs> yeah. Stick to the plan. <laughs> so Caitlin now just needs to find probably just a foot and a bit of weight. Yeah. Just correct that line. She's got a couple of balls to sit. She's a little bit on the high side. Weight was spot on that time. Was. And that she just needs somewhere in between and should be perfect. That's this for a shot. Changes yes. things. Yeah, but there is room now for Caitlin to to have a draw. Asking Rach how far short of the jack is that shot bowl? We're playing that backhand, do you think, Brianna? Just trying to draw around the I front I think bowl? so. Get, get another one close. Yep. And then with the last one, she could possibly have a look at trying to get the split on the yeah. front bowls of Corey's. If she misses backhand too, I think she's got the option at least uh, get, yeah. getting one behind so she can play positive draw. I feel her weight's okay, but I just don't know if she's got the line. Hang a bit longer. Yeah. Okay. She's made that option a little bit trickier now. She can't really go too solid. I need to get one out, maybe. Does she look to play through her front ball now in the back yeah. end? Does she look to sort of arrive with a couple she of She can work off those and get back out. to Corey. Yeah, so. yep, yep. Any problem is if she gets to the front one, Corey's bowls are all coming up. So yeah. Corey will want to just get some movement on his bowls now. Try and get up and over onto one of his. Yep. Try and get something past the jack. Just hanging a bit. Oh, well, always grumbling to himself. Didn't like that. <laughs> Big shot here in the scheme of the game, isn't it? It is, no, yeah. It's 11 9, 3. It's, it's well. I mean, she's got shots on the forehand if she wanted to, but it's a low percentage shot. She could backhand through that outside bowl of hers. Yeah. I mean, only needs probably. I think um, a metre through, maybe. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Drawing, like, you know, to the ditch. Yep. Perfect weight just to move something, get something up and over. Hers hangs around. Sounds, so, sounds easy. It does sound easy. Yep. He's giving it a fair crack. That's a big metre. Here we go. See what happens. Didn't like it. Back turned really quickly then. Yeah. Yeah, she was trying to get up through her front ones there and Pretty get back to the I don't mind the idea. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 
gives Corey a little bit more of a lead again. 14-9 now to Corey. And we talk about our major sponsors, Gomasal Wines. Are you a wine drinker, Brianna? I'm not, no. Oh, I no. can't talk to you about it, man. <laughs> Fantastic drop, Gomasal Wines, the major partner of Airlo Bowling Club for, for, for many, many years. And um, I guarantee you, if you're looking for a, those reds or those whites or the ones in between, sneaky rosés or... <laughs> you've got a... You, I don't you mind better, a Moscato. I'm going to say, you better, yeah. come, better come for a, Sweet for a trip and have a couple of days <laughs> yeah. before the Masters and get up to the, the Barossa wineries or the McLaren the beautiful. wineries. Yes. Yep. 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 Commissal's about 25 minutes from my place. Lovely. Barossa Valley. It's fantastic. Got a few in the cupboard. Ready and waiting for when you get home? Yeah, I got told off last year for um, for cash for voice. Apparently, I plugged Gomasol too much. They gave me a free <laughs> bottle. So I, I, I got... You're not going to refuse it, though. No, well, <laughs> well if I mentioned Gomasol wines a few more times and how good they are, you exactly. never know. Uh, Jane Peterson, three games today. So we do get down to the semi finalist by tonight. So 32 into 16 into 8. And then tomorrow for 9.30, our semi finals and finals. So, um, Stay tuned for today. And once again, to everyone out there, hope you're having a great Easter. Hope you haven't uh, overindulged on the uh, on the cream eggs this morning. <laughs> now my kids have. I've seen the photos. They'll be in a sugar high by about midday. Nothing wrong with chocolate in the mornings on no, Easter. No, totally agree. <laughs> well played, Corey. Two well-weighted shots. Drink coffee, Brian. I don't drink coffee. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna find some common ground here. Soon. I know. <laughs> Run off my own energy. <laughs> well, for the coffee drinkers, I had a uh, had a cream egg in a glass with a shot of coffee on Thursday morning. Interestingly tasty. Uh, the front of the jack is through the middle of his ball. Another goodie by Corey again. Yeah, she's building that wall to sit. Yep. Surely she's on the forehand now. Yeah, yep. I can see her switched over. Yep. Sit the bolts. Try the jack to her too. Jack's good. Yeah. We're arriving. It'll be short. She wants to be in the area. She's giving it a fair chance yep. here. Is she going to get down? That drop. Oh, a bit more. that's very unlucky. You're we'll an, wait, you're we'll an wait inch this. off, yeah. Yeah. Inch off the inside of that bowl for a definitely Funny second wood. Funny that, yeah. Inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, pardon the pun. <laughs> oh. Is there a player with a surname foot playing today? <laughs> no. Right. Inch it is. Inch it is. <laughs> oh dear. been practicing for, for months and months yeah. and that didn't even come up. <laughs> <laughs> Corey now looking to beat those two bowls of Kalen's just yep. needs to see. You know, if he gets that back one, great house and possibly a counter. Really great close this bowl here. Oh, he's going to... Still a chance there for Caitlin to yeah, make two is. or three. Yep. If she's got to hit the shot bowl yep. uh, for, for one, or she's got Jack, any movement. It's all going for at the moment. Agreed. One of those game swingers, isn't it? If she can get this, it'll put the game back in her hands, get back to her shorter length. Body language, not too sure. I think she's a little bit high again. Just doesn't seem to be getting back for her. No. Her weight was 
really good again, so take that positive out of it. Definitely one, just whether that, it's hard to tell whether the back one's in or not. Have a quick measure, while we're doing that, um, Around us some score updates. Brett Spur 16 6 up over Mike Hocking. Gary Kelly 18 6 over Andrew Peters. Tyson Wilson 20 to 3. Uh, who's that one? Hedo Nathan Pedersen 14 6 over Scotty Tholborn. Uh, Benny Winthers 15 6 up over Kobe Jarman on A Green. Aaron Tees has hit the lead again 15 13. Uh, Harley McDonald is 9 all with Gav Fife. Um, what have we got? Can't see Mills and Joe Clark score. Can you see anything from there, Brianna? Um, no, there's a no. someone in the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like it's 16-8, Ashley Halls and um, Brad Jensen. Ashley Halls is right, so that's all good. We may have an umpire called here. Yes, we do. So we've got... Yeah. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, no, three. three. <laughs> I saw the umpires moving. I thought, hello, we've got some action here. I saw 9-8 Joe Clark okay, over good, Craig Mills. Good. Um, I think that's 12-11 Mitch Percy's way, I believe. Now, I don't know. Yeah, it's really hard to see Seagreen, <laughs> guys. So we'll try to get some scores for you from Seagreen at some stage. I've got four eyes and still can't see that far. <laughs> Feedback so far on the stream is they're sick of my voice, Brianna. They want to hear more oh. from you. So um, <laughs> you're doing a great job, Matthew, though. Matthew Hull, appreciate your support. Oh. <laughs> I'm just here for some moral support. <laughs> we won't discuss why you're sitting here. We weren't going to no. raise it, will we? we no, 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 we're no, not going to okay. raise it. Right. Still, it's still raw. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll say I had a rough day at the office yesterday. I said to Scott, I said the poor sucker next yeah. to me, first game Sunday, has had a rough day. Yes. But it wasn't that rough. I got the message yesterday. I'm like, oh, well, it's a <laughs> consolation prize for losing. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, so what do we got? So Gary Mills, 13, to Mitch Sidebottom, 11. That's the one we were looking for over there. Uh, we were right with Joe Clark and Craig Mills. Darren Nibbler, 10-6 over Mark Armstrong. Yep, Pedo, 14-6 over Scotty Thorburn. Gary Kelly, 18-6 as well. So a couple of those games... Uh, sort of in that close range, yep. Brianna. Not too far away. A couple close to finishing. Yep. And then 7 8. That could go on for a while. Yes, Craig Mills and Joe Clark. Yep. Joe's a fighter as well, so he'll he'll stay out there for as long as he needs to yes, get that win. Indeed, so. indeed. Yep. Two goodies from Caitlin, Caitlin here. Hitch, Great well shot. Indeed, indeed. She said, I can play this long length too. Yes. <laughs> You one that when you're playing singles, when you get to sort of 17 or 18, go, oh, I've only got eight to go, I've only got seven to go. And they've got 16 yeah. to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. It's, it's bad because then you start you start relaxing, and then ah, you, before relax. you know it, they're back exactly. within back yep. within a handful. Yep. Great shot by Corey Wedlock. Hasn't got the shot, I don't think, but no. just peeled the jack away. Still two to Caitlin, according to Rach. Is that familiar voice? I'm sure everyone heard that loud and clear. He's <laughs> <laughs> 13 all, so he's getting serious. Caitlin, feels like she's dropped her weight. She has. She has, yeah. She could have really given that a chance, get to her shot bowl, push that through. Yeah. Not going to be too happy with that one, but. What's Corey got? What's he got? Having a good think about it. There's only one down. Yeah, a good Emma swing. Yeah. That's how he gets that wind up sometimes. You can't <laughs> tell if he's drawing or having a good little look. His delivery is very similar across yeah, all is, of his it? shots. Yep. Having a bit of look at it. He's running after it. He's, is he going to get down to the shot? He. Oh. oh. 
What a All gem. Right, Absolute gem. Still trying to fall too, isn't it? It's trying. No wind to help it. No. <laughs> Caitlin will be playing something similar to what Corey's just played now. Swinging down to the bowl. Little touch of the jack back to hers. Is no harm. No, just... On its way. She's got to be close. Really close. Oh, oh how And oh, is that? goodness. Might be two down now. I think she had second. Was it two top. beforehand? I think it was, yeah. yeah. Just rolled into Caitlin's yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. 18 9. Got a fair lead now. As soon as you hit that 20 mark, you know it's on the home stretch. Yeah. How often do you see games change, though, around this point of time? Yeah. Like you get to 20, and as you said, it is. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, you get to that within a handful and yep. you start relaxing, and yep. then before you know it, they're back within, within a couple. and. Yep game back on so you're thinking about what you're having for lunch yes. you're thinking about your first Cooper's Mile yeah. <laughs> or, your, or, your or, you or your chain of ponds yeah. Sablonc, Blanc yep. and um, next thing you know you've dropped eight shots in a row and you're, you're back to game one again yep Simon Keter Johnson's calling Cooper's shot of the day so I've got him involved it's great it was a good shot it was a great shot good shot but I don't want to call it still, there's still okay. time. I don't. <laughs> Just keep writing these down. Yeah. <laughs> In the memory yeah. bank. Great start, Caitlin. Yeah, mate. Corey watching it down. Ooh. Gave that one a fair chance. Trying to get the jack back. He just sets uh, such high expectations for himself. That yeah. Gets disappointed over the little misses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is fair enough when you when you're so close to <laughs> to um having game. I'm chasing those balls up that close. <laughs> <laughs> Played Caitlin. Two yeah. rippers there. It's been a game so far of first on's got. Yeah. Like, you know, it's always, it seems to be you're on first, you're going to win the end. Now that seems pretty simple that's, to say, yeah. but it's, that's what's happening. You think oh, oh, Corey starts to chase Corey's things. Corey's close here. That's a good shot. Great shot. Made a couple out of it. Maybe not so much this end. <laughs> About the first bowl. Yeah. Great commentators, yeah. Chris. Yep. <laughs> Bowls to sit. Trotting behind it. Just feels like it's been Just light. don't think she's going to get there. Okay. Corey with a big chance here now to sort of have another one and yeah. put Caitlin really under some pressure with her last. Weight again is impeccable. Ooh, that's close for a third. It's Rachel, but here we go. She's confident, it's three. Three bats, okay. Yeah. Was quiet. Gotta be confident right up to those three shots there. Nice little wall for her to sit on. Yep. 
break through even. Cardinal Sinema running into her front bowl. She needs to give it the air to get around him. Yeah. She might be given a little bit too much air there. Yeah. Okay, well. That, that gives Corey. Another two. Rachel was pretty confident it was three. So angles are deceiving from where we're looking at, but definitely two. And three conceded, so. Yeah. So only four to go for Quarry. 21. Who are your score updates with? It really changed yet. No, Ben's back in front. That was at even Stevens not long ago, so it's 16-13 to Ben. Tease and Gary Ball having a great game. Maybe 15 mm. all. Ben Winther's got the jump on Kobe Jarman, 19-8. <clears throat> now Kobe, 14 years of age, uh, bringing it. He's yeah, giving it a fair crack. Yep. Won't put the mock on him, but he will play for Australia one day. Looking across at his bowls, he's he's not scared. That's nah, for sure. No. Nah. <laughs> What's Caitlin do now? What's what's the next twenty minutes look like for Caitlin? Just you know, get them as close as she can, and if if Corey seems to knock them out, then she's given it her all. Yep. She's just got to try and get multiples, even just getting one shot, getting back to that shorter length. Just hang in there. Don't look at the scoreboard too much because she's still she's still got time to get her get back into the game. So. Yep. Stop thinking about sort of yeah. second wooden, just trying to get yeah. some shots now. So yeah, I think so. Yeah, shots, be confident. Yep. Even if you normally wouldn't play that shot, give it a chance. Yep. She's got nothing to lose. I like the way. That's not. Yeah, that's yeah, not I bad. Like yep. 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 Just what we're talking about. Give it a chance. Yeah, yep. chance for Jackal bowl there. Not crazy weight. No. Only talking two or three feet. Yeah, giving herself options for a later bowls. Yep. Corey Wedlock. Just again, weight looking to get the bit of jack movement. Okay. There's two. Does that make Caitlin's shot easier? That's something to something to rest on. Makes the jack look a little bit bigger in a way yep. to trowel. So wish they were sometimes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what that was my trouble yesterday. Needed a bigger jack. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We'll organise that next yeah. time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh well, there's two there for her waiting, ready and waiting. CFS sponsors from CFS can organise some bigger jacks. Yeah. Okay. Done. Please and thank you. Yep. Not only great bowling club apparel, but also massive jacks at the same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, what are we looking here? Two? Three? That's three, I think. Three? Maybe. Needs Close between Caitlin's back bowl. Yeah, needs to change his head now. Needs to... Needs a trail of the jack here. Tighten the line, sit the bowl. Yeah. Sweaty, sweaty palms. Yeah. Nerves. Yeah. Or just the heat. Hot day. Yeah. Being confident, that's the way. Like we said, give everything a chance. Back in two. Close, I think. Great oh, shot. Well played, Brilliant Caitlin Hinch. There's three. It's a brilliant conversion. Almost the Cooper's shot of the day. Exactly what she needed to do. Almost. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you said it had to happen. She had to try something different. Yeah. Change. Yep. Just change um, what she was doing a little bit. At the start of the game, she might not have played that shot, but yeah. at this stage, she needs the numbers. So if it's there, just do it. Absolutely. 
And we mentioned um, our great friends at Coopers again. Uh, I would call that shot of the day so far. So I would say so. Jack yeah. in the world, three down to three up. Yep. Um, and celebrate that shot with the Coopers training lager. I'll go with the mild ale. Um, but this training lager is the, uh, is the beer of choice on the taps inside. Beautiful drop. Guarantee you plenty consumed today <laughs> on a 31 degree Adelaide day. Yes, it does help when it's that hot. Indeed. Good start there by Caitlin from a drive to a draw. Pretty close. Handy. Falling into a good spot. Mm. Look at Caitlin's last shot, so 20 could have been 23, 24, 9, and yeah. basically over. And now we're 21, 12, and then a yeah, bit of so confidence. Great if that's all right. Needs to win this end. Yes. Back it up, get this end, go again. Even if it's just a just a one. Yep. Get back on, get the runs on the board again. Anytime you get a six shot swing. Corey just having a false start there. Resetting. It's pretty hard to commentate Corey's games. Is that, <laughs> is that quick that? Yeah. Should have restarted again by the <laughs> looks of that. <laughs> Not to be so harsh, but. But a subtle sledge. Yeah. It's all right, he won't mind. <laughs> I think you heard that he's staring at you. It's <laughs> all right, we get on well. He'll be fine. Tough Kay skin. <laughs> Caitlin is just running through a little bit, so a bit of a loose one, this yeah. one. Yeah, still hanging on to one, though, yep. so. See what Corey can do here to adjust. A real subtle adjustment. His weight was good. I think he's just going to be running through. Okay. Very loose end by, by both of them. Or well, loose compared to what we've seen. Or well, this is yeah. the loosest head so far. Yeah. Yeah. Which but it's is really not, not a bad thing. No, it's right. <laughs> it shows, shows the, the quality of egg with the game's been so far. Yeah. It's good for Caitlin, though, to get back on the board if she yep. can keep this one or maybe two with this bowl. Exactly. So. Just needs to beat that back one of Corey's now. Get second wood. Ben Twist now 20 to 13 up on Wayne Rudiger. That's a big change in that game. Yeah. You stopped looking and uh, That's right. the score kept ticking over. So he doesn't need my support no, anyway. Exactly. He's got this. Caitlin. Caitlin just slipping through again. Mm. It's a bit of breeze little just breeze. floating through yeah. now. Just like not too much, just a little bit. Yeah. Sort of wonder whether that's causing anything, whether the green's just dried out a fraction more. We'll give a score update of some rinks in a minute, so just uh, just hang tight. Corey now. He's Hello, he must have for three. the ball. Well, he did have three seconds, so that would okay. have been would have been the game if he'd got that. I didn't so. see that. Did you see that? No. Nope. Slack of us. <laughs> Talking about the wind instead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One to Caitlin, so she's. She did her job. She got that in. She needed. Exactly so right. Here yeah. we go. All right, let's go again. Get back within. I don't know. She's saying to herself, "Next target is get to get to 16, get to yeah. 17." Yep. Yep. Make small small goals. Set mini goals. Yep. Mm. It always helps. Maybe that's what I should have done yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Beast just said, just said, go the bowl. So he saw it. None of, none of us <laughs> saw it, but he saw it. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> My good old work colleague. We'll discuss the wind. Yeah, we'll exactly. The, we talk about the elements, not let, the bowls. Let, let the experts on Facebook <laughs> do the commentary for us. <laughs> 
All right, score update just quickly. Brown is a Tyson Wilson 22-6. He's not finished yet against Phil Sanders. Gary Kelly 22-8. Um, over Andrew Peters, Brett Spur 22-9 over Mike Hocking, uh, Nathan Pedersen and Scotty Tholborn 16-12 now Nathan's way, 10-8 uh, is Darren Nibbler over Mark Armstrong, A Green 18 all, Aaron Tees and Gary Ball. It's a tight game. It's a tight game. Harley McDonnell 17-16 over Gavin Fyther, it's tight as well. Ben Winther over the youngster, Kobe Jarman, 19-9. Ray Denelk down 12-16 over Anthony Moffat. So Anthony Moffat leads by four. That's A and B green. They're the easy ones. Great shot, <laughs> Caitlin Inch. Uh, we are then looking at Ashley Hall's 21-9 over Brad Jansen. 13-10, uh, Craig Mills leads Joe Clark now. I believe that's 13-10. Yep. There's other scores we are trying to get. Chasing a few other scores from that far, those far sea green ones. They'll get them very soon for you. Caitlin's close here again. Yep. Oh, she just didn't have the legs. Corey Holden, have you seen her it's, paddle? I, it's close. I think she said it's a measure. Okay. Corey gets down here. His speed was good. I think his weight was great for that shot. Yeah. Just need a little piece of the jackal. Get around that jack and sit the bowl. It's her option here. Just a dead, dead draw. Well. I think that's all she's got. I mean, there's she's got one past, but I think, I think she's down. She's playing shot. She's playing one. Yeah. Oh, oh great, great shot. shot! There we go. No, only the one. I reckon that's third there. At the hand straight away, I saw yeah. she. I thought, okay, obviously she is down. So yeah, three shots. Another Cooper's shot of the day. Yeah. Great shot. Just missing the jack and got it, yeah, got the bowl perfectly. That one's pale ale worthy, that one. <laughs> so Corey now playing a similar shot. You know, looking to get through the jack. Close. Very close. Oh, oh hello. He's played a brilliant shot. Bounce forward for one and look down. Yeah, luck's on Caitlin's side at the moment. Yep. One of the last three ends, so. Two it is. Two, okay. So the last six shots now um, to Caitlin Inch. Yep. Two really telling attacking shots the last two ends. So she's changed a little bit, you know, that she has, yeah. That, that way she was playing. Yep, she's, she's changed her game to more of an attacking style. So it seems to be working for her. Mm -hmm. Like we said earlier, giving each bowl a chance. She's got nothing to lose. I mean, she's back within six now, so. Yeah, exactly. You're right, Goody. It's gone from shot of the day to unluckier shot of the day. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Yeah, got a bit stiff there, Corey did. Now old Jack bouncing forward. Just a couple of feet through for Caitlin. Did I see Ben and Fergie play singles yeah. final? Yeah, uh, men's major singles final at St yep. John's. Yep. Uh, Fergie got up over, over Ben. Yep. Ben's been runner up, I think, five times now, six times, so it's his favourite spot to be. Okay, good. He's <laughs> a bridesmaid. Yeah. Which he's not too unhappy with, making the singles final at a 
club like St John's Park. Absolutely. No mean feat. Yeah, so. yep, agreed. Ladies final been played yet? It has. And? Dawn Heyman got up okay. over myself. Right. So, like I said, like, so, sorry, happy to be sorry there. Sorry to raise it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, it was a while ago now. It's not raw. Yeah. It's fine. Great shot by Caitlin Inch. Great, great, great correction. Drink Corey's getting concerned yet? Um, I mean, it's very hard to tell. He's looks like he's. <laughs> it's a really good oh. shot for no result. <laughs> yeah. Played that really well. Just seems to be getting those unlucky, yeah. lucky touches at the moment. A few little grumbles I can hear a little bit. It's just yeah, nothing seems to be going. He's the way. wrong side of the jacket a couple yeah. of times. Caitlin just needs to stick just to that back end and beat that bowl. Yep, keep her cool. Yep. We're arriving. Gonna peel the bowl off clean. Things are tight. Caitlin just needs to be beating Corey's one of Corey's bowls there. Yeah. Falling just in behind. Second wood is good. She's close. She just needs to drop in now. Oh, weight was superb. Uh, how many seconds, please? How many seconds? Second shot. How many seconds? Second shot, please. How many? Two. Two seconds. Two seconds. Got there in the end. Rachel just getting a bit confused with the question. Pill bowl off clean. Yeah, I think yep. so. Yep. Just not as heavy as his last one, mm. enough just to get down to. He's close. Oh, he's Ooh. Gonna go. Another one to Caitlin. It's four ends in a row now. Looks like Lucky's on her side. She's thinking, what are we doing yeah. next? What are we doing next? Keeping Corey on his toes. Just be mixing that mat length up yeah. a little bit. The position is just changing a little bit. Hasn't gone off. Caitlin's just flicked the yeah. little switch. Yep. Brett Spur is off. Brett Spur has beat Mike Hawking, so his game is done. Tyson Wilson's game is done. Uh, Tyson Wilson, so I reckon 25 7 by the looks of that. He's won. Uh, so, uh, great, the other rinks. So, Gary Mills, uh, 18 over Mitch, side bottom 12. Um, Colin Watkins is 16-15 up over Josh Walker-Davis. Uh, Dave Ryan and Mitch Percy, 10 all. Um, Craig Mills, 13. Joe Clark, 12. And Ash Hall's 21. Brad Jensen, 9. So a couple of those games aren't too far away from being done. And a couple of games have got a bit to go. 10 all. Yep. Long way to go with that Long one. Way. Brett Spur and Tyson Wilson are our first two Corey ran, just, round of 16s. Corey just missing his line there. His weight wasn't too bad. Caitlin just changing up the length a bit, I think, is just throwing him off. Great shots by Caitlin. Keeping her cool, just staying relaxed. Players going back and forth to the clubhouse for drinks and things. Yep. It's, um, well, the heat's up. It's warm. It is April tomorrow. Yeah. Why is it so hot? <laughs> Why is it hot still? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm not complaining, but. No. Caitlin Inch just looking to. Is it bowl a little touch of the jack? Be yep, perfect. Yep, jack is good. And tuck it in. It's close, just a bit. A bit high, but there's chances for a next one. Sit the bowl, get a multiple. What's Corey got here? Not 
looks like he's going to be close for a second. Oh. Options for Caitlin. So she's yeah. one down. Um, sit the bowl. It's probably three. Jack in the line couple. Yep. Good options there. Be confident. Right yep. up to the head. There's yep. things to sit on and move and see what she's got. Needs a clear run now. Very close. Ooh. That might be good enough. I think it is with her front one. It's a replay there. Just needed the jack yeah, full. Yeah, jack in the belly Didn't, was yeah. perfect. But you like the front one? I think so. Yeah. Rachel's was having a look. Trusty fingers. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's better. Has <laughs> <laughs> Corey got dead draw for him? Yeah. Can turn up through his side one there. Great well shot, Corey. Corey. Definitely one. With a measure all round for a second shot. I'm looking at Caitlin's back one first, so just one. One big shot. Okay, twenty-two sixteen. Benny Twist has just beat Wayne Rudiger. So Ben Twist is through. 25-14, looking at that scorecard. Yep. Nathan Pedersen, 17-12 over Scott Fulborn. Aaron Tees, 22-21 over Gary Ball. That game is a belter. That's, yeah. Looks like Gary Ball's holding shot there. Harley McDonald's running. 2019 up. Still down one. Yep. Some close games. Yep. That's what you'd expect. Coming down to the wire, yep. Load Masters, 60th edition. No easy games here. Corey Wedlock looking for his fourth title in five years. He's had a remarkable run. He loves Adelaide. Why wouldn't you? It's beautiful. Exactly. Great club, great facilities. Great beers, great wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just running through the head a bit, Caitlin. Oh, restart. He looks quite distracted. Well, I think he was looking over at his mate Teasy's head. Oh, was he? Yeah. You can see he's three down. Oh, it is too. So that puts Gary Ball. So Gary Ball draws to beat that wing ball and it's four for the win. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So stay tuned. Guarantees could lie a game down. Yep. Back on our stream now and Caitlin's um, just got to make a little correction from our last one. Line was pretty good. A couple of feet away. Line looks good again. I say two now. Yep. Yeah, it's a good Great shot. shot. Well played. Brent Marshall, good morning. Uh, Kobe is currently down 19 9 against Benny Winther. But just played a ball. So he's right in front of us in the next game, next rink. Well, shaking hands over on Aaron Teaser's rink. He has gone down to carry ball, 25-22. Okay. Oh, 10 centimetres.
Keelan here just looking to add another. Got enough run? No. Line was good again. Corey's got a chance here. Sit the bowl for three. Nearly didn't roll over. No, I know. Him the shot. He's saying it's getting straighter <laughs> as it gets quicker. <laughs> Caitlin looking for a second one now. Yeah. Um, she got the legs. I think it could be enough. Well, it's 17 at least. Yep. One. Well, he's not giving much away. He's saying, have a quick look at those two for us. So, just will not go away, Caitlin. No, she's definitely hanging around. Yep. Letting know. Letting Corey know that she's still there. She's hanging around. That's another two. Gets it at 18. 22 18. Scotty Thorborn's just wanted six ranks across to have a look and see what's going on in the live stream. He's still playing his game, so concentration levels are up. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Pedersen, 22 12 over, over Scott Thorborn right now. Um, Gary Kelly's through as well, so he's defeated Andrew Peters. Just to confirm. Aaron Tees is out, um, going down to Gary Ball. Ben Twist is through, Brett Spurs through, Tyson Wilson's through. So, twenty-two eighteen. Back to this game. Caitlin on a pretty good track here to start us off. Handy start. Just slipping past. Just looking at him, I can sense a little bit of frustration. You can sense it now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just got to keep patient, don't you? You do. Yeah. You know, it's that thing, I've only got three to go. I've only got three yeah. to go. It's easy to get a three in the middle of the game, but it's hard yeah, to exactly. get a three at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't the hardest shot the last one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> No one's really nailed the jack just yet. No, still plenty of room. That is the shot. I don't know whether Corey's getting frustrated with, with, with the rink and it's just not giving as much as he'd like it to, or yeah. he's just a bit, a bit guru himself. Because there was quite a lead that he did have. Yeah. He has let Caitlin back in, but then again, it's anyone's game. It is. Game on. It is. Caitlin, around the mark, just needs to drop a bit harder. Just pulling up. Again, it'll be two. I think Caitlin needs to change her hand here. Little little touches, perfect for her. So we're looking for two feet on our last. Yeah. Got options to. Little touch of the jack. Yep. Back to her own. Mm -hmm. Play under her last. There's a 
big hole yeah. there. Yeah. So, quarry drawing full game. It's dead draw. Beat the wing bowl. Yep. Yep. Same, same as his last. Mm -hmm. Asking it to slow. Asking it to slow down. Mm -hmm. it really, if he sits that and will turn that one out. Oh, I think that could be just the two. Is it one in, one out? I think it could be. Yes, it, it is. is. All right. We continue. <laughs> Still game on. 24. <laughs> the one is always the hardest to get, like we mentioned before. That's it. So yep. Last one. That's it. So the game's left on the green. Harley McDonald, 22-20 over Gavin Fyther. Ben Winther, 22-13 over Kobe Jarman. Uh, no change in the Pedersen Tholborn score, although Thully has just rolled the jack, so there's been a score of some sort. Not a bad start there for Corey. He was looking for a little toucher, I think. He looked a bit disappointed when it kind of ran away. <laughs> so he's really trying to nail it. And Only one foot away. Yeah, right. exactly yep. right. Yep. Joe Clark, 17-16 up on Craig Mills. So that game is swinging Very like tight. a seesaw. Yep. Ashley Halls has defeated Brad Jansen as well. So I don't have the score there, but that one's over. FYI, winner of this game plays Ben Twist. That's maybe why Ben's sitting behind the rink watching. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Caitlin. She's going to pull up. Good enough. That could be good two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Two bats. A nice little wall there for Corey to sit on. Yeah. Yep. The options there. Yep. A touch of the jack's not so bad for him either. Mm -hmm. Looks to be in the area asking it to arrive. Yeah. Well. Oh. It's hard to tell. Could be. We'll just watch the marker, I think, because I can't tell from here. Yeah, she's given one to Green, so it's one to Corey. He'll back in touch, it wouldn't go astray right now. No. We just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> He's trying to explain to the marker it's straight or. <laughs> Not really sure what he's trying to explain to her. Just needs to arrive a bit harder. She gets up Great inside that. Shot. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant shot. Could be a couple here for Caitlin. Rach is holding up three pedals, so. Big one for Corey here. I think Corey just stays in the backhand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Little touch of the jack's good. Yep. Play sort of yeah. just enough through Just his, enough through to get through bowl. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's playing enough. Kind of one to come. I mean, no matter what the situation is right now, forehand turn Corey's ball once for four shots. Yeah. Yeah. All going for Caitlin at the moment on this head, and I guess too. Well, Rachel's given the indication it's a measure, so but she, yeah, one in a measure. Oh, was it? Okay, yep. all right. I didn't see yep. the one, so that's good. So um, it's hit the bowl, but if she is tight, she gets the jack. That's right. 
playing a little bit just over the draw just to turn it once or twice. Massive bowl in the context of the game. Yep. Caitlin's been a fighter this whole t this whole time. She was it. behind and she's love it. Oh, she got. Oh, just running away. It's all about angles now, isn't it? So Corey's picked the jack two. up. We have two shots. 24-20. Don't leave <laughs> your your couch if that's where you're sitting right now, because this game is not over by any no. means. Corey's close, but Caitlin's the confidence she's got at the moment. Yep. Get that third Easter bunny into your into your golf. <laughs> If the fridge is close by, it's yep. just about to crack 12 o'clock in Sydney. So it's an expectation of a Australian lager of some stage very soon. A Cooper's would be preferred, though. Very much so. <laughs> I'm sure we could find a Moscato for you somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 22-18, Nathan Pedersen, Scott Thorborn. So, Scotty's got the last six shots. So, he put in a bit of a fight up. Gav Pfeiffer is 24-22 up over our top seed, Harley McDonald. So, that game is super-duper close. Yes. Anthony Moffat, 20-15 to 15 up over Ray Donelt. Caitlin's just inside. Great shot. Let's see what Corey's got here. His weight was good with his last one. Weight's always good. Yeah. Look at that. Bit too tight, bit too high. Somewhere, somewhere in between for Corey. Sean Sayers is asking, is there a list of previous Adelaide Masters winners? I don't know if the list is available online, mate, but I can tell you there's five um, Adelaide Masters champions still playing this weekend. Corey Wedlock's got three. Craig Mills has got two. Scotty Thorborn's got four. Wayne Rudiger just got beaten this morning. Great shot, Caitlin. Well played, Caitlin Hitch. Holding two. there be a new master champion this year. What's Corey looking at here? It's got to be close. Just trying to get Ooh. down. Second wood. Yeah. Little touch on to Caitlin's now for Corey would be good. Just slowing down a little bit, just taking yep. your time. I like it. Taking control of the game. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Crowds building. Big yep. crowd this afternoon, hopefully. Caitlin Inch Core is giving it a few applause it needs. Very that's a great that's shot. That's a good shot. Well done, Caitlin. Although it does give Corey that option now mm -hmm. where he can be a little bit more positive to the head, get the split on those bowls. Is he going to look at decent weight or oh, just, oh. A, just a arrive and split? Well, he can't really go any worse off of the back, so I think it's a give it a fair chance. Good shot. Nice on the replay there. Perfect weight. Solid weight, contact, through the bowl, goes for the kill. Oh, did that kill. If that's not out, there's two of Caitlin Lynch's bowls there. Yeah, no, it's still in bounds, and Caitlin's asking for two, so. So it's two bowls two. at the bottom of the screen, two shots. Yep. Boy, oh boy, wow, we. 24 22. 
<clears throat> Here we go. Caitlin's within reach. What's she thinking about right now? She doing? Jeez. Is she thinking about what what her strengths are, or, or what what what? What Corey's weakness? Well, he's got no yeah, weakness. Yeah, he's still got guy, no but weakness. But the thing is, he can convert. Yep. Obviously, better on a shorter end. Yep. Um, just having a good think about it. She's not sure what to do. I think it's good. But she's just got to yeah be confident. Yeah. She's been playing well on her length, yep. so. If Corey's lucky enough to get that shot, well, she's given it a good crack. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Yep. So. Yep. I believe Harley McDonald's down game with one bowl in hand, so just stay tuned. Watch this one intently. Colour rinks away. Caitlin Inch bowls away. It's a ripper of a start Great too. Great start, Caitlin. Well played. Close. Just doesn't seem to be getting down with his mm -hmm. bowls at the moment. See him on the screen there. Just <laughs> yeah, he's really he's fighting that yeah. um, that 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 side of the of the rink. I don't know whether it's because we can feel the breeze pushing behind our backs here now. Not too much, but enough just to cause a bit of grief. Caitlin Inch. Great shots, Caitlin. It's a really good shot. Uh, for the Harley McDonald Tarrant Point fans, 24 all. So. A cracking games to start off the final. Or he's very close here. Jack. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Makes his next shot interesting. Yeah. What's Caitlin looking at doing now? She's looking at changing this somehow. I think she's got to get through one of hers, get it up and over, get it past the jack. Yep. Really change up the angles because at the moment on the forehand for Corey, it's looking mm -hmm. pretty nice. You think it's backhand through that bowl of hers? Do you think? Yeah. Getting the jack on the move. Yep. yep. Confident draw up through hers. Yep. Because Corey will eat that shot alive. Have yeah. it sitting right now. Intently. Changes angles. Ooh. Oh. Well, changed a bit. Changed a little bit, yeah. It's close for shot now, though, I think. She really needed to get down to get the edge of her bowl then. Rachel's gone one to measure to, to Caitlin. Looking to do is he up through that outside ball? Up through his own here, he's very yeah, close. A good shot. Oh, it's gone too oh, far. It's gone too far. Bit of frustration there. He's just he's played probably half a dozen of those shots in the last probably six or eight ends that have been well played shots and just getting not the ultimate result. But it's all because of the pressure that Caitlin's putting him under. Yeah. Like it's it's purely and simply that. She's just playing some absolute rippers. Yeah. Nothing seems to be phasing her. Got some pretty good score updates now. Here we go. So Gary Mills 2019. Actually we'll just we'll just wait for Caitlin's bowl. So he is holding potentially two at the moment, so drawing for the game. it intently. Critical to be outside that one of Corey's, which she is. She's not going to get down. Oof. All right, so situation, I guess, right now as we see it, we, we still think it's one and a measure. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what Rachel said. 
Oh, there's a bit of... <laughs> Corey's asking, who, who'd you favour? <laughs> oh, so he, he potentially thinks it could be his. Maybe. And Caitlin says, oh, no, I think it's mine. So he's just got to draw closer and... All right, so the land of the unknown. Yep. Could be, could be holding shot right now. Could be the shot coming down. It's close. Looks super close. Very close. Oh. Okay. Missing by centimetres he is at the moment. Well, get the tape out and... If you're looking at the screen now, you'd probably say, <laughs> look, it looks like Corey shot, but it's yeah. just the angles just playing funny buggers right now. So it's 24-22, measuring. Corey Wedlock could be holding shot. Caitlin Inch could be holding one. Gavin Pfeiffer has just beaten Harley McDonald 25-24. So our number one seed is out. Yeah, that's fine. Aaron Tees is out. Wayne Rudiger's is out. Massive morning. I think it looks like Corey's. Doesn't beat that one of Caitlin. Can hear the umpires thank you. Yeah. Getting ready. What was that? No, so he's just that one was too far away, so okay. he's just going between these two closest right. ones now. It looked like it was Corey's from when he did the first measure, but So we're commentating a measure right now. Yes. <laughs> serious. <laughs> it's a serious business. If the umpire comes out, look out. It looks like his. It's got more of a solid touch on it. Okay. If I was Kate and Lobby's saying, yeah. get an umpire. Yeah. Yep. Looking, looking. Yeah. Now's the production from our team at Space Quake doing a fantastic job. Loving the coverage. Corey's gone. I reckon I've got it. Caitlin, you better have a look. <laughs> so quickly we'll go through the scores really quickly. So Gary, Gary Mills, 20 to 19 over Mitch Sidebottom right now. Colin Watkins and Josh Walker Davis, Davis 22 apiece. Dave Ryan, 16. Mitch Percy, 13. Joe Clark and Craig Mills are 19 all. So those are the games still going on Sea Green, as is Darren Niblett and Mark Armstrong, 15, 11. Darren Niblett's way. Uh, Nathan Pedersen and Scotty Thorborn, 23 20. Nathan Pedersen's way. Um, Harley McDonald's just been beaten by Gab Pfeiffer. Uh, Benny Winther's just beaten Kobe Jarman. Uh, the umpire is coming out, so we believe we we like Corey's from here, yeah. but we're not. We we. Caitlin's got more of a touch on hers with away. her measure, yep. so umpire called. Here Ooh. we go. Oh, this was my lovely marker yesterday. Is that Penny, is it? Yeah. Does a fantastic job. She was great. Yep, yep. So the confirmed games we've got for the round of six, the only confirmed game we've got so far is that Brett Spur will play Gary Kelly, and that'll be an absolute belter of a game. And the winner of this game will play Ben Twist. Now, um, Ben Winther's just beaten Kobe Jarman, so Ben Winther will play Gary Ball in the round of 16. And then Gavin Pfeiffer will play the winner of Anthony Moffat and Ray Donnell. The game is still going. Ray, uh, Anthony Moffat's 21-16. Um, as I said before, Joe Clark and Craig Mills are still going. They've got uh, their 19 all. Um, Dave Ryan and Mitch Percy, they're 16-13. They've got a long That's way to go, 16-13. Yeah. So it could be a bit longer. Um, if we ask about the second stream today, a bit unknown, I'd say, between probably 12.30 and 1 o'clock, I'd suggest. Yeah. But... Just keep an eye on our Facebook page for, for more information. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this this broadcast so far. Um, as I said, currently 24-22, so it could be the last measure. Um, Brianna, thank you for your your time this no. morning as well. Thank you really for having me. It. You've added the uh, the brains to the, uh. to the team. <laughs> now it's been a, been a pleasure. We may still go again. So yeah, standing by. That is blue rolled out. That is a Caitlin Lynch shot. There you go. It is 24-23. Wow. We go again. Okay. Corey's sitting there in disbelief. <laughs> I don't think he agrees. Just showing in the screen going, there's the number. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Here we go. Are, are, you a, um, are you a radar? Are you a caliper? What, which, do you <laughs> no preference as long as I get Beams, the shot. Beams, <laughs> <laughs> 
I do like the new laser measures, though. I think they're very accurate. That's what she used just then. So yeah. she was just showing Corey the measurement. So yep. doesn't lie. All right. So 24-23. So this game is still on. <sighs> Caitlin. What a comeback either way. Whatever happens. What, yeah. a, what a game of balls. Handy start. Yeah. You definitely don't want anything for short this end, giving no, each bowler no, exactly. a fair chance. Yep. Corey's close here. Great shot. Good play. Both champions in their right mind, in their in their own yep. right, aren't they? So outstanding resumes. They know how to win. Yeah. Okay, I'm sticking with the back end. Yep. It's maybe arriving through that bowl of Corey's. She's very close. How's this for a Great. shot? Oh. oh, what is that? That is... Well, that sat in something, didn't it? That, that didn't wow. do anything. That went up and half down again. Wow, I thought she had the perfect weight just to get yep. right through that. to another bowl around it. Caitlin just coming down to have a look at this. Up for a shot. See what she's done. <laughs> Gosh. See what she's going to do. She couldn't do anything anything more. No. So what's next? Up she's through her own? Up through her own, yep. yep. Open it up, give herself a chance with the next two. What sort of weight are we thinking? Oh, at least at least to the ditch. Okay. Yeah. Get the jack right out of there. It's very hard to draw the shot. She can get the jack back to her her own one on the um, on the side there. Yep. Yep. Ditch weight. It's a tight line. It's holding well enough for it. Ooh. Okay. One. One rock remaining. That was a good weight for her though. Yep. Spit the jack out to her back one there. Corey just needs to get back to that that one now. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yep. He's got the shot, that's all he needs. So don't, don't get back further yeah. with that weight she's playing. Do you, yeah, do you split, yeah, take split, cover. Yep. Yeah. Split the bowl in the, in the ditch. Yeah. You know, nowhere near it. Yeah, because the one he's holding is that pretty is good. The game. Yeah. Just needs yeah. to sit. Alright, well set up well. I yep. just don't know if she can play the same weight. Or will it kill if she gets it right? Will, will that jack spit straight out of where Corey's oh, standing right now? Whether it hits her back one, I don't know what the angles are like. Mm -hmm. Corey's got everything pretty well covered, so. And Send is in his hands with last bowl, so if she does happen to get this. that same weight. Try and watch her body language. Didn't like it. She's sort of... Oh, she's only just oh, missing though. Wow. Wow, what a game. What a fantastic <laughs> game of balls. Corey Wedlock acknowledges Caitlin. Yeah. Um, magnificent. 25-23, so huge comeback. I mean, yeah. that, that game, it was 17. Or at one stage, it could have been 21-9. That's right. She played that, that conversion, yeah. put the jack in the ditch, changed the game completely. and Her confidence was back, and she was had, had the next four ends. Yep. So. And an hour hour later, we're, we're still here. <laughs> we're still sitting here, <laughs> yep. So Corey Wedlock wins 25-23. He goes through. Um, he's obviously not playing his last, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brianna, thank you. No, thank um, you for having me. Yeah, it's been, been a pleasure. Yep. And um, we'll be back... Um, I dare say between 12.30 and 1 o'clock, we will confirm it. Keep an eye on our Facebook page um, as much as possible. But till then, uh, we will see you all again very soon.